March Break Camp happens uh, for the past couple years through the Métis Nation of Ontario and its initiative to bring youth together to learn about their culture, to learn about post-secondary and to learn about some important issues that affect youth. I am a returning Métis student to this camp and I absolutely think it's fabulous. It's a wonderful opportunity to connect with other Métis youth that are going through the same experiences as you from all across Ontario. So some of the programs that we have offered here reflect on the culture of uh, the Métis as well as um, getting them ready for post-secondary educational pursuits and, and promoting that, making sure they, they know what funding is out there, what, uh, what choices are out there to be made and what funding the MNO can assist them with. I come from a small town of Blind River where nature is a big thing but I've never, never went snowshoeing before, I've never really got in touch with my nature side and I find that's it's really important as a human being to really tag into who you really are as a person. I try to encourage the kids to come to this camp. It gives them an idea to how the ancestors related to the land. They come away from the camp uh, not only with that good positive exposure but also that that sense of belonging, that, that continuance of lineage, that ancestral connection to that, to that land that sustains us all. Um, my favorite thing to do is probably the arts and crafts. Um, I'm more of an artsy person, I guess, than like outside. So I really enjoyed the healing blankets and they helped me um, come to terms with some of the stuff I've been dealing with as a teenager. So I think bringing young people together in this way is, uh, is really important in terms of having them learn from one another, listen to each other, um, and it, it does build that sense of connection, that sense of community. You know, we come in Sunday night and it's, you know, they're all kind of not knowing each other yet. Uh, today, there's a little bit of teary-eyed because today's the last full day. So what I've told them is, it's not the end. When you're going back to your councils, you got to bring this in. you got to go back to your community and share what you learned this week and be proud of what you learned. What I love from the Métis Nation of Ontario is plutôt just qui nous donne la chance d'exprimer nos options et de connaître nos traditions et notre culture. Il nous donne la responsabilité de continuer ces histoires et ces traditions pour les généra générations qui vont suivre. There's nothing like this that I've ever come across before. That it can bring so many people together from so many different backgrounds, but just with a shared history and a shared sense of identity and really, really creates a sense of family and a sense of community. As well, it's really fun.